After a long time, welcome back to Beta Studio. In this video, we are going to work on the errors that you usually get in PlayFab and go and fix them. So, kind of a big video. And one more thing, uh, basically, you would be hearing a little bit louder sound. That is because we recently got a new desktop build, and with that came a big UPS, which is creating such a loud, la large sound. Although we have used NVIDIA broadcast to like decrease the voice, which I think is AI generated. So uh, I think it should be less. But that, saying that, let's get started. Now, one more thing before starting, we are going to use the example complete PlayFab uh, like project. And this is the non multiplayer code. And we have the multiplayer code here. So uh, you can get this from our Patreon and uh, nope that's not a paid project everything covering this uh project has been made on youtube so you can just go and follow along if this is the first video you are watching out so the first thing the first kind of error that comes is heartbeat and server configuration are required now this is a very common problem uh which everyone like every second person had on discord so let's fix that the realist issue this like the fix reason of this error is because uh, many a times the unreal engine game tries to connect to a port which should be uh, set on the website and it doesn't finds that port and because i don't know why but playfab team made a x port which was to be configured so let's go and fix that uh, I know you may not understand what I meant, but yeah, that the fix is easy. So you will have to firstly call set default server host port. And you also need to set open the PlayFab website. Uh, we have basically uh, logged in into the account, added a new build, and we are just trying to add a new build. And whatever like you, add, you want to add as the build name virtual machine whatever you want to do the thing is in this thing network now you have to add a port named game port so this should be game port and this should be default to 7777 and utp or tcp now without this many a times your build will run and many a times it will not now why does it uh crash uh and gives that error i don't really know because in the video originally also you saw without doing this we ran the build successfully so a lot of people get that to run without this and a lot need to do this so you just do this and it will run now one more thing you cannot directly run a build basically you cannot let me just open any build which i have on my computer So this is a basically a build which I did for a client recently and it, this uses PlayFab. Although this will run because I set PlayFab to only run when console command has been passed on. But the thing is you cannot uh, run a PlayFab build using this. Command uh, file name dot uh, line log. So this will not run. This will give you an error. This is because of the environment variable. So this the second thing is the environmental variable. For that, you will either have to upload the build to the PlayFabs website and then run the build, or the second method you is to set a local debugger. Now setting a local debugger is not that easy as of now. For like whenever I tried, I did not successfully run it. So I usually run this on the a new build and I just select two cores and uh, in the region I set standby servers to zero and max to one so if like basically this runs then I can just later increase the number and that will work perfectly so this is the first thing uh, sorry the second thing and now let's third come to the third thing uh, let me just open the playfab sorry yep so here a lot of people are having a problem when the match has started it doesn't end anywhere the server just keeps on going on so that basically does because you have not quitted the game now quitted the game doesn't doesn't mean that when the match ends you just quit the game using this uh, on the dedicated server because playfab will not register it nor playfab has given any uh quit game option 
or close dedicated server option something like that let me just search gsdk and here are all the things but they you do not have any option to close the server so you will have to basically shut down the server yourself uh, from the code so let me just open up one thing and show you so basically now uh, to shut down the server you have to use this match id so what you can do is uh, which because this match id is same as the session id so when you join the server you can just right click this and promote it to a variable and just save this here or maybe before the execute command uh, just so that the variable gets updated carefully hmm and now what you can do is just open the level which you are using uh, we do not have a multiplayer level here because I did not add that yep let me just delete this and add a new level and presuming this is the multiplayer level which is like the dedicated server is running and we can name this daddy created server level and we have a basically a game instance for this a dedicated game inst game mode and uh, just put this in sorry i just got this new computer and it's a bit of yeah so now when we have this dedicated game mode we will just take this match id from the game mode so for doing that what you can do is you can go to your gear, player controller dedicated player controller and on event begin play because uh, if this is on the dedicated server we already have the match id from this get get match success so on begin play we will just take this from our we will check if it is locally controlled uh, local player oh sorry get is local player controller and we will make a branch if this is true then we just get the game instance and we must have a game instance yep we will create a new function and if you are using just casting you can just cast this and from here we can name this get session id and this should return the session id and this should be a string now go to your game instance uh, and in the interfaces we will have get session id you can just pass the match id as a session id now go back to your dedicated player controller and you can get the session id and then create a new variable now name this session id i know it's a bit uh, difficult but or uh, let's just say delete this or uh, we do not need this we can just create a server event uh, send session id to server and this should run on the server and reliable and this should have an input for the session id again and let's have uh, basically a string and uh, remove this up here and call send session id to server you can just refresh and yep and from here we will just get the game mode and for now i'm just going to cast to the game mode 
you can use interfaces if you want uh, dedicated game mode and we will send the uh, session ID to the server now let's go back here and create a new variable session ID string so we will just get the session ID from here and check if it is empty because if it is empty then only we will want to like set the session ID to something because for instance if 10 players join we do not need the session ID of all the 10 players because that would be same so we only need to set it once uh, so we will just get this and now we will just get this session ID and set it to true and yep branch and this is done now what we need to do next is on the dedicated game mode we have to create an event on post login now you I think you must be having that already and when the first player comes in we will just set a timer by event which every 10 seconds it will check if the number of players is zero or not also you can create a command which just checks if the match is successfully uh, completed or not I am going to check the number of players you can check anything else you want and here we will just right click this and promote we will ch name this check players uh, timer handle and this should only happen once so we will make a do once sorry do once and when this is completed uh, sorry when the timer runs we will check uh, we can just name this check check players hopefully you can hear me and mic is not disconnected yep and check players we will just get the number of players you can either uh, use the gsdk which never has the correct number of players or you can create your own list so for creating your own list right click promote it to a variable name this controller array disconnect it convert it to an array change variable type and get the controller array add and add every player you get to this array now this controller array will be updated now you can even make an event on post logout and just uh, basically remove the players that leave the match from here now we will get this controller array and check if the number is less than 1 and make a branch and if it is less than 1 basically that means no one has joined like no one has uh, like no one is left in the match because sometimes you have seen that players like in PUBG when you win the match the only player left is 1 but he needs to celebrate and dance and play emotes and given 60 seconds of time so until that players leave we will not close the server and as soon as this number comes below 1 again because when uh, basically when we started this timer someone had joined that means the number was 1 so this timer is, will only start when the number has reached 1 and it will close when the basically the timer goes below 1 and when this happens we will just call the event for shutdowning this server so you can just f uh, shut down multiplayer server and in the request make a request now this so this session id should be this thing and now we need a on failure node so let's create an event dispatcher and create a matching function and on success 
create a matching event so shut down success if you want you can uh, take uh, like check the result and basically this just has a request because you, you do not need to do anything else this will handle this but a lot of times to my surprise this did not successfully shut down the server now in 100 cases it will shut down in one case it will not so what you need to do is to take an extra pair of steps like just to be sure that no extra cost comes up you will have to basically shut down the server using uh, maybe shut down server uefo you can try this video out basically this is a very nice thing uh, i came up about this three months ago so yeah this is a very nice video when like in 100 times your server will close 99 times but for that one time this code is basically uh, a good thing to do so you can just add this code and th that is shown in the video the video link in the description and that will solve your uh, problem consider supporting us on patreon that is it for this video uh, that subscribe button is white i think now so just press that and thank you meet you in the next one a lot of surprises are on the way so stay tuned